We came up uh, with the name We Make Carpets eight years ago. We were collaborating on an exhibition and then by accident we created our first carpet-like installation. The rest is history, I would say. We are more and more focused on making patterns instead of making installations which look like carpets. While working with the object, we see it really as material instead of the objects that they are. They become material quite fast while working with them. This is the same question as asking a painter why he uses paint. This is the material we work with. When we use these materials, people will have a different look on them after they see our works. I think we're interested very much in the beauty of things. We're looking for the beauty in the material that we're working with, but also in the patterns that we make. We don't have too much plans before we start, so we know the material, we know the size, we know the layer on which the materials will be placed, and then we start in the middle and just go. The work is like a puzzle you create for yourself, but you have to create the rules. So it's a continuous challenge of what to do and how to do it. And we specifically chose for a setup where, which has works created by us and guidelines for kids to work with. They have this layer that they can use to make a starting point of their own creation which can become like similar to ours, but also very different. So it becomes like one big art installation in the end. It's called Hands On. We make carpets for kids because we really want that the kids can work with their hands and just uh, use their fantasy and maybe find out that it's all about color and not anymore about objects. I hope they go play with all the materials like we also play with the materials. And that's why it's also still super fun to do. Mm -hmm.